What's going on, everybody? It's Dominic with Power Slap News, and joining me here in Vegas is Mike No Mercy Bonnet. Mike, how's it going? Good. Did I get your name right? Yes, sir. Awesome. I was worried about that. <laughs> First Power Slap event for you. Let me let me tell tell me a little bit about yourself. Like any combat sports history? Where are you coming from? Um, I'm a brown belt in jujitsu. I've been training like kickboxing and jujitsu for about 17 years, mm -hmm. uh, off and on a little bit with family stuff, but. Um, right now I own a gym in Payson, Arizona and like Donovan Cross and Waylon Frost who yeah, yeah. have, you know, been on here, done well on it. And so I said, throw my name in the hat and give really? it a try. So, so yeah. you saw some people were at your gym, they were doing it. You're like, I could do that. Let me get in there. Yeah. That's awesome. So you got the call pretty quick. It sounds like, are you nervous at all? Is that coming up? Any like jitters coming in, going in up against the big lights, the big cameras, all the celebrities on international flight week that get it under your skin? Uh, People being there and stuff doesn't bother me at all. Uh -huh. I mean, the fact that just it's a foreign thought to just stand there and not try to dodge a punch when you're used to boxing and kickboxing. Mm -hmm. So just stand there and getting wrecked in the face is a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah, but yeah. I've done a lot worse for a lot less. So. Well, <laughs> everyone tells me this is mental, right? To get up there yeah. and do that, to not flinch. Because if you do have that sports experience, that boxing, that karate, whatever, mm -hmm. you're, it's grinded into you to dodge, dodge, dodge. How do you get over that mental hurdle? What are you doing to kind of prepare to eat it? Well, first of all, I might not be like the slickest boxer. And I'm more the guy who will take some shots <laughs> and give them back anyway. So I'm used to getting hit. And it doesn't really bother me all that much. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm not super nervous about it. I'm glad I'm not going against some of those big guys, but <laughs> I'm glad I have a weight class because <laughs> some of those dudes are huge. Yeah, they, some of those guys are huge. We yeah. saw weigh-ins today. Weigh-ins went a little iffy compared to the last one. We saw a couple tents have to get out. You were all good up on there? Yeah, I mean, once I took my shirt off, I was exactly on. So Perfect. Uh, were you worried about weight cutting? I know this time they did weigh-ins a little early compared to the previous days, and that might have been throwing some people off. No problems for you? I think that's better. You do? That way you don't have to send, spend all day feeling miserable. Mm. You can just go through the night and then wake up and do your weigh-in. So I'd rather that. So yeah. let me ask you this. You're out there. You own this gym. Is anybody, you see these guys practicing power slap, hitting each other with noodles? Do you got anything? Are you kind of converting a corner to like a slap dojo or anything like so that? So we don't have any like classes particularly oh. for it, but we do have, you know, like us, the guys that are interested in doing it mm -hmm. have been doing uh, some different little techniques with resistance bands. And uh, sometimes we'll put the headgear on and not smack the crap out of each other for our brain's sake but make sure you're not flinching things like that so anybody see you out there hitting the heavy heavy bag like what are you doing you're slapping that thing a <laughs> little bit but most most everyone in the gym knows what's going on at this point at so, this point yeah that's pretty awesome sounds like a lot of people i talk to don't have that gym environment they're kind of doing it at their home taking it at their own pace kind of thing like aj's barely even training right he's mm -hmm. out there head banging partying do you think that's going to give you a little bit of a competitive edge against some of these guys I think, yeah, I mean, I spent half my life throwing punches and getting punched and not just in street fights like all these guys want to say, but in a legit level with guys who actually know what they're doing. Mm. And so I think that that, you know, knowing how to throw something correctly, knowing how to put my power behind it, I feel like is going to help. Yeah, That's awesome. <clears throat> Your coin toss results, did you get them yet? Yeah. You going first? Yes. Is that Was that a relief where you got that? Were you like, Whew. yeah, I mean... If I don't have to get slapped, I'd rather not. And my whole goal is to put him to sleep. Mm -hmm. I met him. He's a super nice kid. feel a little bit bad about it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's it all is business. what it is. It's all yeah. business, right? But I know a lot of people lose that coin toss and kind of start shutting down. Were you worried up until then, or you got confidence in that chin? No, yeah, I got confidence. Yeah. You're not too worried about taking that no. first time? Would you have wanted to maybe show that off? Uh, No. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't have a big ego. I got to show it off. I'll show it off when it happens. Okay. Because I talked to some people. They're like, I want to go second. I want to let him hit me. I want to show everyone I got that diamond chin. I'm like, if you can yeah. do it in one, do it in one. Why Why take the hit? I think it's just insecurities trying mm -hmm. to be a big dog and all that. But a lot of times the loudest, loudest person in the room is the smallest person. Cool. So, Well, I want to ask you this. As somebody who's new coming into this, everyone's telling me the mat is very different. The mat is yeah. soft. It's a marshmallow. Did you get a chance to walk on it yet, kind of swing over the table and, and feel that out at all? Yeah, I did. Nice. Um, it's a little softer than like jujitsu mats. So it's a little bit to get used to, yeah. but I'm imagining it's so people don't crack their heads on the stage. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. probably the whole reason for it. So 
yeah, I don't think it'll throw me off too much. I'm glad I felt it beforehand. Nice. No, I didn't walk up on it the first time. I know that's been a concern in Power Slap too. There was a couple people didn't get a chance to do that. They got on the mat. They thought they were in a better position, and they see the replay, and they're like, man, I am not where I wanted to be, right? And they, they contributed it to not getting a chance to experiment on that map, mat. Sorry. So I'm glad you got an opportunity to yeah. do that because, you know, not too many people did. Did you go out to the PI at all? Did you do anything out there? Uh, no, not really. I just went to the weigh-ins and all that this morning and felt that mm -hmm. and that and did some interviews and all that. But yeah, you think you're going to ever go out and hit the cube, put up some big numbers? Oh, I did hit it. Oh, you yeah, did I did hit it yesterday. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is what it is. I put up like 36 or something mm -hmm. like that. I mean, I don't know. Hold it back, not showing everybody what you got. I mean, it's just one of those things where I'm not going to rip out my biceps neck and some cube <laughs> on a wall. Like, I, we'll see how it goes. Well, I heard uh, there was Alan out there kicking it. Some people were really trying to get the numbers yeah, going. Yeah, I right? actually would like to get one for my gym just for mm. the sake of it. It'd be cool to put on some little competitions too and stuff. So. All right, a little local competition. Yeah. Biggest number gets a free free gym membership. Yeah, something like that would be cool, yeah. That'd be fun. Scout some new talent. You see some kid hitting that thing. You're like, hey, you come here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that'd be fun. So. Are you, um, you got anything jazzy planned? Are you kind of like a big showman? Like we saw Austin and Dorian at the press conference of the day really going at each other. Is that you? You seem more of like a calm, cool, collected kind of guy. Yeah, I'm pretty chill. Like yeah. I don't, I don't get too crazy, but I don't know. Some you of the kinda... way that some of those guys were talking, I feel like would get under my skin a little <laughs> bit. I have a, I can go from zero to 60 a little bit, mm -hmm. but I, I tend to just stay chill because. So do you kind of flip on game day? Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be, you see a different side of you walking up to that mat. Yeah. My okay. mentality always is, it's not a fight. It's not, you know, whatever. It's a guy at my door trying to come in to oh. my kids and my wife and I'm not going to let you. That's interesting. I know everyone's always got a different thing when they're going up there. Some people like, I, I'm looking at that guy and I'm seeing a check, right? I'm like, if mm -hmm. I don't do this, I don't get paid. You're kind of going at it through a different, like putting, putting something yeah. else on the line. Yeah, money's easy to come by, but when you put like real stakes for things, you know, like I sometimes it's stupid, but I do that workouts. Like when I want to give up a workout, I'm like, if somebody had a gun to your head, would you do 20 more squats? Mm. Yeah, so don't be a little girl about it and do it, you know? So well, sounds like a rough gym to work out in. You're walking <laughs> I don't, around I don't there. I don't push 20 it. more. <laughs> no, I don't push other people like that. I push myself more so. <laughs> That's awesome. Still, you never know, right? You get into that coach mentality. You got to push these people. Sometimes they need that. You know, yeah. some people need that extra little bit. I like the focus there. I like the motivation behind it. Are you are you excited International Fight Week? Have you seen any UFC guys walking around? Anything I mean, I like that? I did an interview with Michael Bisbeing, oh, which okay. is cool. He's one of my favorite fighters from back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen anyone else really besides that, but I'm probably the kind of guy that wouldn't even walk up to him. I just see him. I don't know. Do your thing. <laughs> They're just people to yeah, me, yeah. you know. Well, you know, one day hopefully you're out there and they'll be coming up to you, you know, with yeah. that power slap belt. Is that something you want? I know a lot of people get into power slap thinking that maybe this will be their bridge to transition to MMA. Are you looking to make power slap your home? Yeah, I mean, I've already done MMA about last time I fought professionally was like 15 years ago. And it just wasn't the route I wanted to take with mm. the family and all that. But I mean, yeah, I think that this is something I could do well. And the guys in my division, I feel like I can... Honestly, I thought you were going to beat all of them. So, Well, you're slapping first. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be a one and done? That's my plan. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> you got uh, different slaps in case it doesn't. I know some people got like three different slaps. Or are you kind of, you got your one and you're just going to keep laying it on? I mean, I know how to throw all sorts of different punches from boxing and all that. So I don't think if I have to switch hands or anything that's going to like greatly impact me. Mm -hmm. Or if I had to throw a different style i've worked on a couple of different ones but i think i got down what i want to do so any concerns about fouling you worried about the stepping like putting too much into it and that heel lifts up or anything um, like that I've you been, working with anybody to i've got some mental cues yeah and i've got some uh you know i've been do doing lots of reps like okay. repetitions i go do it on a tie bag i don't you know yeah. i'm not swinging as hard as i can so i hurt my arm and all that but just consistently putting in reps over and over and over or in front of the mirror mm -hmm. uh making sure that all the all the things are right because that's really what will hurt you you know yeah i feel like i can knock these guys out but i don't want to do it in a foul so definitely don't want to be taking the foul right because then you get another hint you lose a point whatever the case may be i think the overall goal is is the clean strikes to get you to the end right mm -hmm. yeah 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 well i really do appreciate you taking time out of your out of your like fight week to come talk to us that's super awesome of you before i let you go man where can the people find you what do you got going on 
uh, like online. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. What are you doing? Yeah, now? I've got like my gym website or my gym stuff is all Vanquish Self Defense or Vanquish MMA and Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I have an Instagram, Mike Bonnet, and then a Facebook. Um, yeah. So we'll that's, link it all down below. Follow all that stuff. It'll all be down below. Make sure you're following Mike. He's power slapping July 7th. It's going to be on Rumble. If you're not watching it, I don't know what you're doing that day. Go watch Power Slap. That's the thing to do. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. I really do appreciate it. Thanks, you. man. Appreciate it.